They're like, if you actually talk to some of the people like, um, I don't know, some of the relatively extreme people on YouTube, they're like, no, no, that, that was right. Even if you can show them every single fact relating to the particular issue, they're still going to be there saying, no, my video was justified or, or, or the, it'll simply disappear. The video will disappear. There won't be a word said about it again. And there'll be denial for the, like well, months or years afterwards because they can't deal with right. the idea that they're, um, well, fallible, I suppose. I suppose it's the thing, it's it's yeah. ego projection of ego to say that they're always right, that they can read an article. It can be the most um, <clears throat> bizarre and stupid article in the world, like, I don't know, saying that um, like this Nibiru thing, saying a big planet's going to come and uh, hit us or come close, and <laughs> that they'll believe an article on a website which is full of loads of really weird theories and they'll say well this is proof it's true because it's on the website yeah. you know and they won't step down they won't back down they'll just say it's true it's true it's true and they'll keep on like <laughs> it's like banging your head against a brick wall trying to talk to some of these really uh, I, don't, I don't understand how that becomes proof like, mm. that, that's not proof yeah exactly uh, yeah. Oh, that's like when Ryan Paul Franklin in this in this one post on the on the gossip website, when he uh, quoted the Destiny Vicky in order to prove that the Rick Ross forum had been cyberbullying. Right. When the Destiny Vicky was uh, probably possibly written by himself. I don't know who's writing this, but definitely some Destiny member trying to give people they want bullied a shout out. <laughs> So yeah, that's your proof. Propaganda. Awesome <laughs> research. Yeah. It's the usual way, though, if isn't I it? If I wanted to bully, I could. Yeah. Hmm? I don't get this. I mean, I do understand, you know, the, the only reason they, like, play with these ideas of propaganda, that, you know, they twist and distort the facts, or just make it up <laughs> full stop, is because they don't have any logical rational reasoning to actually <laughs> believe them to listen to them or anything else it's a bit like the well, way it, go on in, uh, in destiny they demonize logic and reason they 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 go oh well, that's a part of the mind consciousness system yeah. <laughs> you can't use that yeah and, 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 and you know, knowledge i mean <laughs> if if that's how it is then you can't argue with them you, you can't argue with them at all there there there's there's no measure. There's no guide. You can't have a rational conversation with them because they they've already gone. Oh well, uh, the the guide that we you know you know that typically you know normal people would use, you know. Oh, we, we just ignore it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I tried to talk to that Joe guy once, and then he started talking about his penis. <laughs> what? That, that was so funny because when people do that in real life, I stick a fork in their leg. Yes. Or I start screaming. <laughs> or I say really loud, stop talking about your genitals, you pervert. <laughs> I didn't even ask for that information. He volunteered it. And I was like, you know, I do not appreciate you talking about your private parts. I do not care. Seriously. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sounded like it was advertising himself. So that's that's the most despicable, uh, despicable type of male I know who talk to you for five minutes and then they start advertising their great sex skills and like like that's ever going to happen. Stop dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. How, how did that come like up in conversation? Hmm? How did that come up in conversation? I don't know. He was talking about how his sex skills had improved ever since he was being in the physical. Oh. And I was like, yeah. Do your partners <laughs> think that too? Because, you know, being in the physical, that might work for guys, but it's still the age-old thing of the biggest sexual organ of a woman is the brain. That's just the way it is. Mm. Yeah, maybe Destiny should advertise itself out as a penis pump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is what you will realize, you've got all of these really horny guys between 20 and 30, and all of these really unsatisfied females on the other side. That's what I noticed. Oh. When they forgive themselves, it just comes up again and again and again and again. It's so sad. Yeah. 
My God. <laughs> it, it explains a lot with the Destonians, you know. <laughs> and um, they still have that, like, um, kind of like a free love policy in the cult, don't they? Is that right? Uh, sort of. It, it's, uh... Oh, no, 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 they invented monogamy. Oh, yeah. Ah. Anna said it. They invented <laughs> real monogamy. It's never happened before. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course, because we all know that Destiny is very, very original, don't we? You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, Destiny just can't get laid. Yeah. Period. Just like Bernard. So they, they stick to one another. Well, <laughs> I think... Um, I can't remember who said it now. It, it might have been... Um, I'm pretty sure it's one of you. Who... Um, <laughs> said, you know, something along the lines in some... I think it might have been in one of the comments on one particular video at one point in regard to, like, what happens when a sexually transmitted disease gets into a cult, you know? Because, you know, destiny, suddenly AIDS gets in there. I mean, there's a huge amount of AIDS in South Africa. Someone on the yeah. farm gets so it. I don't and... think Bernie would touch anyone who's black, seriously. Well, yeah. Is it... Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just wondering, you know, well, obviously there's like several members of Destiny and affiliates who are not white, but you've mentioned this before, <laughs> you know, that they seem to be vaguely like, I don't really want to say white supremacist, but I want to kind of mean somewhere in that direction. You know, a bit like, you know, Hitler was right. That's, you know, obviously one of the main linchpins of their belief. And, go on. I, I don't know if there's so much white. I mean, they, they have they have tendencies somewhat in that direction, but I think I think their, their supremacy is more related to their ideology mm. rather than race. Although, I will say in... I mean, if you look at them as a group, they yeah. don't have the numbers of like you know if 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 indeed like they're for equality and oneness, you you would expect since it's based in South Africa to see more openness and uh, I don't know some some sort of uh, program or something to to have uh, some sort of camaraderie with with the local people in South Africa, which yeah. the majority of the population is is uh, is black. Yeah, and yeah. It's just it's just not there. You you have a few members who who just just happen to be black, and and the rest of them just I mean. But they're from America. That is the whitest South African farm <laughs> that might possibly exist in the world. <laughs> it might just be. I mean, I've it's heard about white. it. They're like transparent. Hmm. Because I've heard about it with um like some farms in South Africa where they're you know. They don't allow um, like black people to even come in the the gate, you know. They won't allow them to come onto the land or onto the ranch. With some particular, you know, um, lands in South Africa, or not equally, you know, uh, a white person going into certain like ghetto areas would obviously find a similar situation. But it, it makes you wonder if you know Bernard does like harken back to well the heyday of. Well, the old, like South Africa, when it was nationalist apartheid. Yeah. Even though he talks it about like equality. He's inviting them over, so. Pardon? He's, he's not really inviting black people over no. on a regular basis. You'd think he would. You know, like, uh, yeah. even with, like, the inner group being white, you'd think, like, okay, he'd probably try and, you know, get, like, some kind of 50 50 ratio going at least. You know, because. Obviously, as uh, you know, as previously mentioned, a huge amount of population over there is, of course, uh, black African, as indeed anyone I think would it's expect. 80%. Yeah, and uh, much. Th there's also um, obviously you know a percentage of like um, people of Indian origin and other origins as well as whites, and you'd expect there to be some kind of you know relatively inclusive element in there, but. As you say, it's basically the black members, as far as I know, seem to be from the United States. I'm not sure if there's any from outside the United States, but the ones I've noticed, 